Hello everyone, this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In this very video, we are going to learn how to create multiple stairs for multiple story buildings or how to create multiple stairs for a high-rise building. Many of us find it difficult to create multiple stairs because we have become so conversant with creating for a duplex or a two-story or two-floor building. So, with that said, we are going to go straight now to Revit and learn how to do it. Come with me. So, on the screen right now was the image of the last video I made on how to create multiple story building or how to create multi-level buildings but after creating that for you to create your staircase your multi-level staircase i advise that you ungroup every one of the floors because in that last video where we learned how to create multiple floors we used grouping to group each floor but now that you are about to do your multiple level staircase i advise you on group because grouping has a way of disconnecting whatsoever you put in after grouping so for us to get it right on group everything and make it to become um single let every element be on its own having said that the next thing we are going to do is to hide some of these elements like the walls so we can see the staircase very well so i'm going to rotate this now when i rotate this i am going to come to the wall click on the wall and right click then i go to hide in view and select category it will hide all of them i'm going to click on the window again right click go to hide in view go to category then right click on the uh, click first on the window hood right click and go to hide in view and select category once you have done that it is going to reveal to us the staircase that i've already done before now i did this staircase before time so that it would not waste our time because by now you are supposed to have known how to create the staircase so this is the staircase this stopped only at the first floor, but we are going to extend this from this level right, right to the last level here. So having said that, what is the next thing we are supposed to do? The next thing, and um, let me also let you know that this is very, very simple. It's a very simple exercise to do. How, to, how do we create it? The first thing you do is to come and select the staircase after you must, you must have created it like this one click on it once you have clicked on it go to properties make sure am i on am i right here okay once you are there go to scroll up here make sure that the base level is at the ground floor level that's good the top level don't um don't focus on this rather your focus should be on multi-story top level okay come here on this um bar where you see none click on that bar and click on the arrow and move straight down to the highest level of the building the highest level is supposed to be level 18 but that is the roof level so do not click on that one click on 17. once you click on 17 click apply and the job is done very simple so easy very simple okay then you can click outside here once you click outside you can see it has gotten to the last level but then in real life situation in real life situation there is supposed to be opening here a kind of um, cavity there should be a hollow for the stairwell 
The stairwell should be open, but here it is closed. How do you create it? You create the stairwell using the tool called the shaft. The shaft. And how do you use the shaft? Before you go to the shaft, I will advise you first go to your ground floor level. Let's go to the ground floor level and activate that. So let's expose this and go to 0 to ground floor level and double click on it. It is going to bring us here. You can see right on the floor, everything is covered with the wooden um, flooring. So, but by the time we create a shaft here, the whole of this place is going to become white. You won't see this anymore. So how do you create it? To create your shaft, in other words, your stairwell. Go to architecture, click on architecture. Then, for it to reveal this, the opening panel go to shaft and click once you click on shaft the next thing you have to do is to select the rectangle tool and come here click at this edge sorry about that select the rectangle tool click here and drag it to this point and click again that is the first step you have now defined the area that should be cut out once you have done that it is time to set the parameter where is the shaft going to start from where is it going to end then you come to properties here under properties for the base constraints it should be at ground floor but the base offset here by default should be zero but you are going to change it to minus, minus 300 or minus 150, depending on your choice. But let it go below the ground floor level. But I have chosen minus 300. The next thing you have to do is what? Go to the top constraint and click here and scroll down. To select 17 level 17 that is where the staircase the the, the 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 shafts is going to stop click on this but also when you come to the top offset here you are supposed to have zero you're supposed to have zero by default but I would advise you you change it and make it 600 so that it will go a little bit above the the level 17 let it not stop at that points exactly once you have done this the next thing you have to do is to just move down and click apply and that is it come here to this place finish edit mode and click and click outside here that is done you can see this place has become white meaning that the floor does not extend to this point anymore this the floor is not here so let's go to the default 3d view go to default 3d view and view it you can see the hollow now you can see the opening some humans can pass through this now and it is connected you can see from here you can land on the floor this is the landing so the the, the, the one of the floors when you land there let me rotate this i think i'm loving this now i'm loving this so you can see, you can see it, you can see the hollow, there is connection right now. That is how to do it. And this is how to create multiple stairs for a multi-story building. Also creating a shaft to create the stair well. Let me also show you something. You can also hover around. When you hover around, you can see this imaginary square or box okay that is the shaft when you hover around and get it highlighted just click on it if you click on it you see this button that you can use to stretch it once you click on this triangular button here you can take it up or you can take it down or you can come to your properties and change the value but if you want to change it manually you can just click on this and grab this and drag it and drag it up you can see 
that is how the shaft works you can also bring this one down the one at the at the down part you can drag it and bring it down that is how the shaft works but if not you can come here on your properties you can see now that we've changed that base offset has changed you can see the value now top offset has also changed so that is how the shaft works with the multi level staircase thank you so very much for watching this video once again we appreciate you for sharing this video for also recommending our channel to your friends and for subscribing to our channel keep watching our videos because on daily basis we make wonderful videos just like this one thank you once again and bye